the evidence that the world has that salvation is coming is us. Our call is to bear witness to the world that new creation is available. That, that new life, that transformation through Jesus is available. Our call is to be the evidence, to bear witness to who Jesus is and what he has done. And that's what Paul says next as he continues on in verse 12. He says, so put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in daytime, not carousing in, in drunkenness and in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. He's saying, live in such a way that demonstrates a new world and a new life is possible. Now, at one level, just reading this quick verse, it could sound like Paul is talking about moral conformity. I mean, just be good people. Go out into the world and be good people and demonstrate to the world that they can be good people too. But Paul isn't interested in people just being good people. What he's interested in is showing that a whole new way of life is possible. A whole new way of understanding the world and living in the world is possible because everything we're reading here in chapter 13 is actually connected back to chapter 12. That's where this section begins. And Paul begins this section in chapter 12, verse 2, saying, don't be conformed to this world. Essentially, don't be comfortable with this world. Don't cozy up with this world. Rather, be transformed to show that there's a different way to live. So it's not just about moral conformity. It's about becoming a whole new person. 